We're getting ready for the upfronts, the new fronts, a lot of discussion about the transformation of television, the challenges of television uh, from subscription, but also the opportunities with television to sell audiences and so on. What's kind of exciting to you about next thing in premium video? I mean, that, that we're still talking about upfronts and new fronts and so on cracks me up, but whatever, be that as it may, they continue. <clears throat> but I think what's most exciting is, uh, this is going to sound a little bit odd from an agency person's perspective, but Netflix. <clears throat> um, because subscription has led to way better content than choice and like all things free capital market, that's led to more choice means got to be better, meaning content's better everywhere you look. So subscription pay TV content is extraordinary. There's so much stuff you want to watch, which has made free TV have to be that much better. So I think the content that you get cross cable, broadcast, pay, et cetera, is all really, really good to say nothing of what you can find on YouTube or anywhere else. It's just really good content. Um, but there's a need for aggregation of that content because we can't all possibly keep track of where it is. And I think that the notion of that really good content being interrupted by nasty ads is wildly anachronistic. So I love the platforms that are pushing for fewer interruptions that are being smarter about how brands are integrated. It again is hysterical to me that you and I are talking now about the new fronts and the upfronts and bringing things like branded content in as if that were something new. But of course, integrating brands into the really valuable stories that are being told and ensuring that they're there in a way that is reasonable. They're not there because they're just looking to insert themselves. They're there because they're making the content better. So I think you're gonna see through the upfronts a lot better partnerships with the content creators and the brands and the agencies that work with them to ensure that when the brand's showing up, that's a good thing. Um, and that proliferation of choice, again, requires aggregation and therefore a few trusted partners. And they're probably not going to be the trusted partners that you and I had growing up of, you know, it's ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, um, ESPN, etc. You know, those channels are going to look a little bit more like Prime and Netflix and YouTube, as well as NBC, as well as some of those other channels. So I think it's a great time to be a brand. I think it's a great time to be a marketer. It's confusing, but the choices are so much better. And the idea of integration in the truest sense of the word is, again, I think, here.